Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I purchased this uh, 12 by 12 paper pad um, by Die Cuts with a View and it's called Honey Blossoms. And um, so my youngest daughter has just moved into her apartment um, probably about a month ago. And uh, it's she lives a few steps away from my favorite uh, craft store uh, and it's called Spotlight here in Australia. And uh, when you get when you walk out of her apartment it's only a three minute walk and so it's pretty um scary now when I go to my daughter's house I always end up going there and I found this 12 by 12 paper pad at Spotlight and so I wanted to make something with the uh, papers that are in here in really um nice patterns um with some blacks and some like um, neutral colors and they've got some bees in here so they um i thought let's make something with um the papers so i just made a quick project and i made a slim um a slim pocket holder or you could use these as a page insert in your planner um, it's also um, a great floating pocket in your journal. You could add these into your journal and just tuck it in one of your pages and add your ephemeras, um, die cuts or your notes or uh, little uh, note cards in here. And um, they turned out really lovely. So this is how it looks like. And it has two pockets and a side pocket. And then I decorated the top here uh, with some twine just to make it look like a tag style shape so this is the one that i sort of filled up with a few bits and pieces just to show you um, i placed one of my ruffled flower flower that i've made and i still have some of these in my shop and you get a pack of six of these and um, it may come flat when you uh, purchase it and you open the packaging and then all you do is just ruffle up the layers up and then you've got yourself a nice puffed up uh, flower embellishment and then there was um, a bee in one of the papers and I just fussy cut the bee out and place it in the front and here is one of the pockets and then I tore the edges of the two pockets just to make it more more fun and more uh, interesting instead of just having a clean cut um, pocket edge and then I just use some of the scraps to make a little embellishment and this is another uh, image that I fussy cut from the paper pad I think it's like a light bulb with some flowers inside and I thought that was just a cute little add-on just to place inside the pocket and this would also make a great gift to give to somebody if you wanted to give some of your ephemera pieces or some of your tags you can pop them in here and then gift them and it's also a great flat mail um, idea for you and this is one of the cutter parts in the pad um, it was a three by four size but I trimmed the whole uh, piece down so that I was able to fit it inside the back pocket in here so that's your uh, back pocket and then up here I punch the two holes and then punched out um, a couple of circle shaped um, using my circle punch just to decorate the top part and then punch the holes added uh, some chiffon ribbon and placed one of these little dangles that I also made and these were fun to make and I did make a few I'm going to add these into my shop very shortly so if it's not in my shop it will be there uh, very shortly and these are what they look like and they're just adorable little uh, dangle pieces you could add to your projects or add them to your planners or your tags and so it has a antique bronze safety pin you can just pull it take it out of the show you can just take it out like that out of the uh, little trim and there's a tag that also comes in the pack and you can also uh, take this little piece of crochet trim out as well and you can use this on another project or use it in one of your snippets or clusters so i just added that little extra piece in there and it's just a little adorable dainty dangle with a little love heart charm as well so i did make a few of these and um, you can choose out of a cream color flower a mint green uh, there is um, a pink one 
and an orange <coughs> color uh, flower so you can choose out of these four colors so it does come with the tag <clears throat> and I've also placed a piece of vellum sheet as well for you if you want to use that in one of your projects um, there's a lot of ways you could use just using this size or even smaller I have a pocket that I'm going to show you what you could do with a small piece of vellum to make a little pocket to add into your pages so I'll have that video shortly and that's just using some scrap papers and a piece of vellum so uh, just to give you some extra ideas on what to do with smaller pieces of your vellum sheets so I'll have these in my shop <clears throat> So I've just placed that in the front and along here is a, another side pocket. And I did use double sided paper because I wanted to use, see the other side of the pattern piece. But you can use single sided paper as well. So um, you can use either double sided or single sided paper to make this. And then I made a double tab file folder. Um, I just thought I'd just add that as an insert in here and just give you another idea of what you can place in here and you can tuck in here some ephemera pieces as well as a little um, way to hold them in place and then I just made I made one of these I haven't decided what to do with this piece yet so this piece was a part of this uh, paper that I cut out and I'll show you how um, the measurements and then I had this extra piece and I thought I'll just make something with it and so I could make this as a little mini journal and cut some paper to fit inside here fold it in half and either staple it or sew it to create a little booklet and then this can be the part to close it and I can add some string or I could close this part here and glue up here and down here to create a tuck pocket to create another ephemera booklet so I could do that or I can go this way and create a tuck pocket this way to add ephemera pieces this way and have it open that way uh, so I just haven't decided on what I want to do with this yet or I can make this into an envelope actually as well and um, I can glue down here punch a thumb notch here and create a envelope as well so few ways I could uh, use this um, piece so let me show you how to make the um, pocket holder and then I'll also um, make this as well if you're using the the paper size that I'm going to um, cut with and what I've done here is I've used a the one of the tour by tour papers and I just cut it in half so you'll get a piece at six inches by 12 inches so that's what i've done and that's how i was able to make um this coordinating set sorry it's this coordinating set with, with this one here but if you have a six by eight paper pad uh you'll be able to make uh, the folder sorry the pocket holder so what i'm going to do first because i've got a six by 12 inch paper I'm going to line it on the 12 inch side and I'm going to line it on the 8 inch sorry and I'm going to cut it at 8 inches like that so I'll have this piece uh, 6 inches by 8 inches and then I've got this piece at 4 inches by 6 inches so if you have a 12 by 12 paper, cut that in half at 6 inches by 12 inches, turn that around and then you're going to cut it at 8 inches and then you will have two pieces. So this smaller piece will be that little uh, folder piece or fold out paper that we're going to use. But if you've got a 6 by 8 paper pad, you will just need the 6 by 8 piece paper. So we'll make the um, pocket holder first and what we're going to do, we're going to line it on the 6 inch side and we are going to score at 2 and 3 quarter of an inch all the way down and then we're going to turn this around onto the 8 inch side and we're going to score at 1 and a half inches.
Okay, and so on this side, you probably can't see my score line, but I have a score line here. And we are going to remove this right panel um, along that, um, just this right panel. So I'm going to cut up this way and then I'm going to cut across and remove this piece. So we've got this little piece. We'll put that to the side for now and we'll just fold the paper so you get an idea of where we're at. So we're going to fold this to the front along that score line. And then this little piece here, we're going to fold that up and that will be that front pocket. So that's how it will look. And what we'll do now, uh, you can leave this as is and that's your top pocket. Or you can create a um, an edge where we're going to tear it and that's your other pocket at the back. So I'm going to tear mine because I like that sort of um, effect. Uh, I'm just going to, you can decide if you want to tear going up that way or tear going up that way. You just decide. I'll tear mine going that way. So I'll just open this up and then I'm just going to go to the corner and just start tearing not too far down. You just want to go a little bit down to here. So sort of on an angle or you can just cut, uh, tear just straight. Do a, uh, just tear straight. And so that's my one there. And now you've got this little piece. This is the little piece that we're going to place on the top here to create your extra pocket on the top. And there is a little bit of excess paper, so I'm just going to move it over to the edge here. So we've got that lined up. And then I'm going to remove this little excess piece because we don't need that. So I'm just going to go that way and remove it this way. That way I'll, I'll know where I'm at. I need to tear all right so now I've got this piece so I've got my paper torn down I'm going to go the opposite with this piece and I'm going to just tear up here just a little bit and up to that corner so it's sort of like a zigzag when it looks when you've got the pocket so I'm just going to go down here just a little bit and tear up to that corner I don't have much room because it's a small piece, but just do it the best I can. So there we go. So then that's going to be placed on the top at the back. So you can see now you've got the two torn pieces. So what we'll do, let's glue this down first. So we've got that place down. So what I'll do now, I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to place some glue just along the air on both edges up to that fold. Gee, my little, my jester has a good life. He's just enjoying his little naps next to me here while I do my crafting. All right, so now we have this piece. I'm just going to place that up here for now and just gently press it down, not all the way down, otherwise it will glue the whole pocket, just enough so it can grab onto this little piece so I'm just actually I might go this way I'm just going to place it where I've got that glue and then I'm just going to just have a look and see if that's where I'd like to position the pocket and the height of it as long as you've got them glued to these corners for now so I'm quite happy there I'm gonna bring this back down and now glue the remainder piece of the paper by gluing up here some more glue down the bottom and here as well now we can glue these two pockets and that will complete this part so we should now have let me just grab this little so now we should have one pocket done and we have a back pocket once that's all glued and all lined up. I'm going to just grab the uh, scoreboard again and we're going to make a score line up the top here. So grabbing your um, 
pocket I'm just going to line that along this way and we just want to go down about three quarters of an inch down and we're going to make a score line and stop at this edge here so I'll just line it on this scoreboard I'm just going to go in about three quarters of an inch and create a score line all the way just up to there okay just sort of decorates the uh, top part when we make the little um, part to add your trim so we'll open this up and now we can uh, create your side pocket and before we do that if you want to create a thumb notch here do that first <clears throat> so I have a, a two and a half inch circle punch but you can use any um, size and you want to create the thumb notch below that score line that we had just done just a little bit below that score line you probably can't see the score line that I have but it's just below there also just sort of decorates the edge again just to make it more um, decorative <clears throat> so I'm going to corner around the corners up here and that's up to you as well if you would like to do that and also just tidies up the corners so we'll open this up now and we're going to glue all of this part up to that score line that we had just done so we want to glue all that down and I'll add some glue to the bottom here so we can create the uh, side tuck pocket and we could press all that down and this will complete your pocket holder to store all of your bits and pieces or a little slim journal because there is a lot of room in here so there we have <clears throat> your pocket holder or pocket page insert or floating pocket and you can add your little um, circles by using your circle punch if you wanted to do that or just one and just create a tag um, using some trim so let me just <clears throat> I'll just punch the holes but I won't add any trim just to show you and with this one I punched out two circle pieces with some paper first if you want to make it more sturdy punch your little circles <clears throat> with your circle punch and then just adhere them to wherever you would like and then punch your hole uh, once you're happy with where you placed your uh, little circle pieces so then you have that you can't see them but there's your circles and then you just decorate it with your trim add your dangles you could add some dangles here and punch another hole here have something hanging off there or some trim so there is your pocket second pocket and then you've got your side tight pocket in here so you can see there is a lot of room once this is all glued you'll have some room in here to add whatever you like now i'll just give you the measurements for this piece if you've cut your paper using a tour by tour paper pad so this is the six by uh four by six inch uh, extra piece of paper and all i've done was i'm just going to score it on the right side uh, one inch in so I'm just going to go one inch in, which is five inches or one inch on that side, just depends. But you want to score it on the right side. And I've just folded this in like that. I mean, you can fold it, you don't even have to use a scoreboard. And then this piece here, I'm just going to fold it over just a little bit away from that fold line. Or you can go in this way you don't I just want it so it's not lined up with that score line it's just if I do add some papers to create a little mini booklet or a little mini journal at least it gives me a bit of room here to be able to close the uh, closure and just gives a bit of room for this to move so that's part all done I might just corner around these corners And then I'll decide what I like to do with it. And, and it just gives you something extra to um, 
play around with and decide what you would like to do with this extra uh, folded paper piece. And then you've got yourself a coordinating uh, pocket folder with your extra uh, piece that whatever it is that you're going to make it with. Um, so I just thought I'd make this little simple project with the paper pad that I just purchased. And I think this um, is a great little simple uh, project for you to make if you wanted to give this a go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I uh, will see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.